Hey fellas, Murph here. Welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're doing an unboxing and explanation of why I think this is the best saltwater big game fish reel in existence. Coming up. Okay, so first things first, Daiwa, in my opinion, makes the best box. Who cares, it's a box, right? But when you're dealing with 100 of these things at a time, which I used to do when I worked at a tackle store, it makes a big difference. And look at this packaging. They really know how to package a reel. I will say that. Look at, <laughs> get out of town, get out of town. Look at this. Sounds so good. Okay, so first things first, obviously it's nasty looking, look at it. Um, it's black, it's silver, it's got the monocoque uh, body design, so it's all one piece. Supposed to be really, really sealed, supposed to give you a bigger, you know, bigger gear inside because of the, the design there. So you're gonna get a bigger, beer, bigger gear, more sealed, so should be more longevity. Thanks, ambulance. Mm. Because of the monocoque design, it has that bigger gear, so you should have more power, and the ceiling is gonna give you long, more longevity. Win-win there. All right, let's get this handle out of the bag here. Now that the ambulance has gone by. It's kind of a cool little bag. I don't, I don't think you'd ever use that. I don't know what I would use that for. Maybe if you're traveling, you take the reel off the, off the rod and travel. I do some keys trips sometimes. That might be somewhere I'd use that. Let's get this handle on there. Nice big egg knob, bearings obviously out the Yahoo, out the wazoo. Probably three bearings in that handle right there. Super smooth handle. Okay, it's not broken, that's good. Super excited to get this on some grouper and tarpon and try it out. Well, there we have her, all assembled. So, first impressions, uh, spoiler alert, like I said before, I've already played with this reel a whole bunch in the tackle store. And uh, you know, it feels great. It's really smooth, it's Daiwa smooth. And honestly, in the past probably three or four years, I would say that Daiwa has even surpassed Shimano in smoothness. A lot of their stuff is literally just butter. It doesn't have that Shimano whir either, if you're familiar with that. Shimano reels kind of have that This is just silent, smooth. It's safe to say I'm a Daiwa fanboy, but I don't have anything against it. You know, all the other companies. I, I think they all have their place but this reel right here is gonna do some things. I just don't know what yet. If I can ever get out and go fish, we'll find out. Some fun facts about this reel. You're probably wondering the drag, the weight, their gear ratio, all that fun stuff. This reel is rated for 55.1 pounds of drag. And if I pull up my spec sheet here, the Saltiga 8000 also has 55 pounds of drag. This reel weighs 22 ounces. The Saltiga, which is the reel above this, weighs 23.1 ounces. So, a little bit of a victory there for the Certe. And where that comes from, mostly, I believe, is the rotor. Now, like I said before, the rotor is made of a different material. This is using their Zion, Zion, however you want to say it, material, which is basically just carbon fiber. Whereas the Saltiga, the reel above this one, has an aluminum rotor. So it's a stronger rotor probably, but it's not as light. So it's probably a little more rigid, but it is a little bit harder to turn, which means that this one is gonna be, the Certate, is gonna be an easier reel to turn the handle on. So if you're throwing a lot of swim baits, if you're throwing a lot of lipped plugs, any type of lure, a popper, something like that, the Australian guys throw a lot of poppers, uh, this might be a better reel for throwing lures. Not only is it lighter, so you have a little bit less fatigue. I mean, it's what, an ounce? An ounce, 1.1 ounces. Probably not gonna make that much of a difference. But where I think the biggest difference is gonna come in, if you're interested in this reel, is gonna be line pickup. When you're reeling against a swim bait, when you're reeling against a lip plug or something like that, this reel will feel smoother because it is a lighter rotor. And that, for me, was all the difference. And that is why I wanted to get this reel. Now let's talk price. Obviously a reel like this of this caliber is not gonna be cheap. It's a $650 reel. Now for you, you have to ask yourself, is it worth that much? I don't know, how much do you fish? 
how much are you throwing huge plastics, huge lift plugs for grouper and tarpon and stuff like that? Do you want the absolute best reel probably that there is on the market to throw those things? If the answer is yes, then that's probably the reel for you. This isn't a sales pitch. I'm simply reviewing the reel, uh, unboxing it, and giving my thoughts and opinions on it. Now, this versus Saltiga, for me, I think this reel is the reel for me. The Saltiga is a fantastic reel. I'd have no problem using it, but if I had to pick, this one is a little bit cheaper, and it's probably gonna throw those soft plastics and plugs a little better. So those are my reasons for thinking that this reel is the best reel possibly. I'm calling it the best reel for bigger plastics, bigger fish, best big game reel. Certe 8,000 to 14,000 might be the ticket. That's my review. That's my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you want more fishing tips and content and unboxing and things like this, leave a comment down below. Let me know and I will work on getting some more of those towards you. Um, if not, well, just like the video, just enjoy. Go watch some of my other fishing clips. Click or tap the screen up here if you wanna see some fishing content. Click or tap the screen over here somewhere if you wanna see more tip videos. Thank you all for watching today and I hope to see you in the next video. Murph out, peace. Listen to that clicker, it's so aggressive. Oh yeah, listen to that clicker, dude. Freaking sack. <laughs>